Hey Capricorn, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. And for those of you that are new, I am so grateful that you're here. Cross watchers, the same. So happy you stumbled upon my channel. This is going to be what messages need to come through, who needs to hear it the most. So do take what resonates and make sure you head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. Um, just a quick reminder, I am giving away two, I'm sorry, I'm giving away a $100 gift card um, in time for the holidays. So the giveaway this month is going to be from December 1st to December 15th. I'm going to cut it off at the 15th so that I do have some time to get it to the person that is randomly chosen. If you're new, all I need you to do is subscribe so you can take part in the giveaway. And for this month, it's leaving a gift emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine from now until the end of um, the giveaway, which is the 15th. I will remind everybody around that date to be checking their notifications because one person will be hearing from me. And then we'll resume the giveaways, the monthly giveaways, starting January 2024. I am also getting the yearly um, the forecast for 2024. I'm getting those up slowly, so do you know pay attention and check for yours. Sorry guys, I had to plug in my my camera. Okay, so yes, make sure you leave that gift emoji down below and let's get into your reading. Archangels, Marian Angels, Holy Spirit Universe for Capricorn, most important messages. Capricorn needs to see. All right. For my Capricorn spirit. And look, passion wants to come out. Can't get enough of one another. Let's see what else. Let's, I'm going to do it one more time back around. We have divine masculine and divine feminine. So for those of you that are experiencing a twin flame connection in this lifetime, there's something happening here with this connection. Divine union. This was the first one, karmic lesson. Divine union, karmic lesson, and mental health. For some of you, you're dealing with someone that had some t some form of an addiction, um, was going through possibly a dark night of the soul. Had a lot of things happen to them up until meeting you. In their past, having a hard time healing and dealing with it, moving on from it. But it does say um, addictions. All right, and at the bottom of the deck is legal. Whether if this is your energy, Capricorn, cross watchers, take it how it resonates and flip the energy if you need to. I do feel a karmic um, connection ending. You know, I feel some time needing to be, you know, placed on healing. Um, healing the inner child, activating the higher self. But I do feel divine union. I feel a soul union coming together. So it's possible you may have someone Capricorn at the time, at this time, and cross watchers you may. And it's possible you are thinking about one another. There's a reason for that. The person you're with very well is a karmic and you've already experienced, experienced something so much deeper on a soul level like this type of union. All right, spirit for my Capricorns. All right, let's see what we got. Look at this. Tasting success. Hard work is rewarded. I feel like you're about to receive... I do feel a shifting of energy in this situation. Delicate situation. And again, that goes with a karmic lesson. That also goes with someone who's going through um, a transformation, evolving. You know, coming out of this mental health, which shows up here. 
any type of, like I said, cracks that need to be healed within yourself or your person. And keeping the faith that there is hope between you and this person. All right. I also feel divine guidance here with divine feminine, divine masculine showing up. I am feeling divine guidance. All right, spirit. What am I Capricorn? Most important messages that they need to hear at this moment. Ten of Wands. It's like the burden is real. The struggles. But look at this. Successfully coming through these burdens and these struggles. It's possible you or your person could be famous, could be out there, you know, maybe um, within social media or YouTube. Um, within the community. Could be very just famous. You know, but overcoming these burdens and these struggles moving on successfully and you do notice and it's not just within this deck i know this is my winter deck but in traditional tarot there is a wreath so i feel like you know a shift here and i feel like it's going to be very soon moving on successfully queen of swords the sun There's a lot of growth right here. A lot of mental growth. So where it says mental health and is an issue or an addiction or codependency or, you know, like I said, negative energy of you or your person, dark night of the soul with the queen of swords here that is mentally getting through these things, becoming stronger, knowing what you want in this situation. And there's happiness. I feel within this connection there is still, like both of you want to be very resilient and you want to be persistent. You want to move forward from these burdens. You could be dealing with an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Leo, but um, also could be Aries, Divine Masculine, Aries, the Emperor, Sagittarius. Pay attention to Cardinals, possibly red feathers for some of you, you may see. But I feel like this delicate situation is going to end up for the better. Happiness. Both of you want to move towards each other and get through these obstacles. And right, let's see what else we can get. things way on both of you it like you think about each other all the time and I feel a part of the distance you're starting to lose hope but they are going to take action very short very soon I gotta tell you I feel that they want to reach out each and every day but they fear that you're going to turn them away They fear, you know, they may be blocked, that you, you know, you're going to respond with something like, you know, I've moved on, I'm, I'm okay, you know, I, I wish you the best. Um, or not even respond if they reach out. But they are going to take action. I just feel like this person goes to send you a message often and then they delete it and they're like, you know what, I'll do it later. Uh, I will, I will do it, but it's just now's not the time. And I do feel we are coming into that moment where it is the time. Yeah, look at this. Overcoming the addictions, overcoming the struggles, the negative energy, the burdens. And these burdens between you and this person, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But with the devil being here, you feel each other even though you're apart. Whether it be a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection, you feel their energy even though you're apart. You see this, this cord that keeps you bond, bounded. But there's just things that needed to be worked through. And you can't rush those things that need to, to be worked through. And there's the relationship. I feel that you both are going to be very patient with one another. 
Like I said, I spoke of the resilience and the persistence. And you may also have been through your own struggles in terms of relationships, in terms of, you know, other things in your life that broke you down. But I feel like neither one of you want to give up on each other. There is, look at this. This will be healed. This is beautiful. This will be healed, Capricorn. And you see that cardinal, it's a different form. The cardinal is right here too. There will be healing here between you and this person. All right. Let's just get additional clarity. Like I said, strong air energy, strong fire energy. I have some water with the Four of Cups. The Fool taking that leap of faith. Yeah, no more holding back. They want to come together and work this out. And like, like I said, this is divinely guided. A twist of fate. It was not coincidence that you met this person, that you were placed in their life or they were placed in yours. It was not a coincidence. But I feel both of you needed to go your separate ways to work on yourselves, you know, not aligning in the best energy. And there's that cardinal again. There is definitely communication coming in from them. And they feel like that you both are going to be very focused and dedicated and patient on making this work with one another. Very mentally grounded. It's like through the separation, both of you evolve so much. And you both know what's at stake and what's important. And that's why you're going to put in the effort to make this work. All right, let's see. Breaking things down to make it work. A closing out of a cycle and moving forward from the obstacles. One day at a time, I just heard. Yeah, see, they held themselves back from being completely open with you. And this may also be your energy. If you were not receiving it on the level that you were putting out, you may have retracted your feelings and emotions. Possibly put out there, you know, that it is what it is kind of like energy and not being like completely all in. But the mask is coming off. All right, let's see. For my Capricorn sphere, for those that this resonates. And the transformation between the two of you for you, the, both of you to come back together. I feel a restlessness within both of you in this separation. It's like you both want to run towards each other. Neither of you knowing this. But there is change coming to this connection. All right. Let's see. Let me get the Scrabble tiles. We have G, M, U, S, E, A, K, O, Y, and the rest are repeats. So do take what resonates. Make sure you're watching your other signs readings. Leave that gift emoji down below and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description description box. It is currently open and it is stocked. A lot of people have reached out to me for the year ahead reading and the forecast for just your energy for 2024. But that is restocked also. So for those of you that asked, you can head over and take advantage of that. So much love and light, guys. Um, I will be back for many more readings.